Hi Church, I hope you're doing really well. I'm Gabriel from the Chester campus and at the minute the topic around church is uh, faith and miracles. Um, if you're like me then sometimes it can be really easy to only sort of pray for the big miracles um, so that you feel like only God can provide the resolution for and my mum sends me messages sort of on WhatsApp through Facebook of of people to pray for, people asking for prayer, and usually they're quite like life altering things or or really big things in people's lives um, to pray for. And really, I find it really easy to forget for uh, to pray for um, the little things really in the day to day. Um, whether that's just because I feel like I should be able to fix it myself, or maybe I feel like it's too little to hand over to God. Um, but Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And uh, I think really for me, this pointed out like every situation I should be taking to God. And what might be like a short prayer that's sort of passing and doesn't really feel that important to me can really be a real reason for praise for someone else in the future. And Ephesians 4, 31 to 32 says, get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ God forgave you. And at first, Paul's list might seem like a list of easy fixes almost. None of them are, are physical things, they're all sort of emotion things. And uh, sometimes it can really feel like these things are the, almost the hardest to fix. And it's almost highlighting that old habits and, and attitudes can be things that only God can uproot, really. And I want to encourage you that as we pray for, for the big miracles, to also be praying for the little miracles in the day to day, whether that's uh, a change in attitude, whether that's um, loving people that you find the hardest to love, uh, whether that's like family or friends or people at work. Um, but don't be surprised, really, if you find yourself in situations where God's putting it to the test, where uh, the answers to prayer, whether that's your, your anger, whether that's your bitterness that the verse talks about, um, where God puts it to the test as well. And I really pray that uh, for ways that you can use that as well. Um, but I really hope you have an amazing day. Thanks very much.